Hi everyone, welcome to day one of the five days, five different state management libraries series. In this series, I'll walk you through some powerful state management libraries you can use in your React application. And today we are kicking things off with Redux Toolkit. So let's get started. A very simple counter application. This is what we are going to create with the help of Redux Toolkit. The very first step is to install the dependencies. Now the second step is to create a slice. Now what is a slice? Let's say a file that will hold the logic for actions and reducer. And this is how the code will look like. So what we have done, we have imported create slice from Redux Toolkit and using this, we have created our action creators. What are action creators? A function that will create and return action. For example, here you can see increment and decrement. These are the two action creators. What they are doing, they are incrementing and decrementing the state variable. Now the next step is creating a store. For that, I have created a new file called store.js and this is how the code looks like. I have imported configure store function from Redux Toolkit and what this function is doing, this function is helping us to bind our reducer and store together. Now fourth step and very important step is to provide the store to the application. So what we are doing, we are wrapping the entire application with this provider component and we are passing this store to it. The final step, now time to use what you have created. Now I want to access that state which you have just created, for that I am going to use use selector hook. So use selector will help you to read the data from the store and use dispatch hook will help you to dispatch the action. Now every time you will click the buttons, this is how your code will know that you are trying to increment or decrement the values and this is how the code will look like. 